here tonight because we want to make connections, uh, meet new friends, but we're also on this road to excellence, whether we're a judge or a lawyer, to be the best persuader and communicator in the courtroom. Hey everyone, uh, this is Shane Reed. I'm speaking tonight to the Collin County Young Lawyers Association. They're honoring the judges in the area. We've got a big crowd and we're going to talk about persuasion in the courtroom and how to communicate and be the best lawyer and judge you can be. Lawyers will often get up and just start giving us all this information instead of what does the judge need to make a decision at that hearing? What does the jury need in order to decide this case? We're so caught up in the information we're giving, we don't listen and think about what do they need. And that's what you want to do in a courtroom the next time you're in front of a judge or a jury. You want to make them feel like you're going to answer the questions they need answering in order to vote for you at the end. I mean, that's the whole key. What is the need of the audience? It's one sentence that summarizes what your entire case is all about. It is so important to not just go into a courtroom and say, well, these are a bunch of facts, but you know what? Ladies and gentlemen, I have a story to tell you, and it's A, B, C, it's that simple. Albert Einstein said this, if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. And that's true in the legal world, in the business world, in the medical world. Let's find what's great within us, not looking for it in someone else, and be different be prepared for your next trial or hearing. And then finally, speak from your heart to persuade. And if you do those three things, I guarantee you, it will make all the difference.